Hello. You got yourself a Samsung Smart TV in the last two years? Have you also got Philips Hue lights? Do you want to sync them to your TV? I'm going to show you how to do it. I've got today the Philips Hue Smart Light Bar double pack. And I'm going to put these behind my TV, the Samsung, and I'm going to sync it with whatever's on the screen using the app, not the box, which you can buy as well. I'm going to use the app today. In this box, I'm going to quickly show you your power supply, European or UK. Instructions, warranty, and also you're getting the mounts. This I'm going to be standing them up so they'll sit on these, but you can't actually put them, actually attach them to the back of your TV. No, I'm going to keep them as a stand. This is what they look like. That's a screw if you were going to attach it to the back of the TV. Now, if you go onto the Philips Hue web page, it actually shows you what it would be like. You can turn the sync on or off, and it sort of demonstrates what it would be like to have the app and the lights working. So it's syncing what is on that screen, the colors. Price-wise, it's not cheap with it being around about 115 UK pounds for one-off payment, the monthly subscription is a lot more appealing. Coming in at £2.69 in the UK, also offering the choice of you could have it on three different TVs as the one-off payment straps you to that one TV, meaning if your TV broke or you decided to upgrade your TV, you would have to actually pay the one-off payment again to get it working. But if you had the monthly subscription, there would be no problem then. The box itself, what you can buy, is that is still 250 odd pound, but you would need the bridge that you might have that with your lights anyway, but if you don't, you would need to buy the bridge. You also need to buy the bridge if you're just going to use the app as well. But hopefully you would have the bridge in if you've got Philip Hue lights already. To start with, on your Samsung TV, go to the App Store and you download the Philips Hue app. In the app, this is where you'd make the one-off payment or you could choose a monthly subscription. And I've already got an account, so I can just link it with my Philips Hue account. I've got to connect it to the bridge. It's searching for your Hue bridge. Once it's found it, then the app would start up like this. This is the screen you met with. Video, game mode, or music mode. And you've got your settings. In the settings, you can have it powering on when the TV comes on, or just you can customize it to what you want to do with it. And to start it, you just press OK, and you'll see it start turning. That means it's now on and syncing with whatever's on the screen. This is a demonstration to show you it's quite accurate. If you imagine if you had some movie playing or music or gaming, I think it would actually be quite good. The next one shows you more the colors and you actually see it's quite accurate of what it's actually is on the screen. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.